right? If you haven't done any programming, then I recommend you to learn uh, either R or Python. Uh, but if you have to make a choice between R or Python, uh, I would advise you to learn Python because that's uh, a more popular language. Many recruiters uh, want to see Python on your CV. Not that I think Python is a better language than R. Uh, I think for statistical modeling purpose, both are comparable. Although in some areas, Python has an upper hand. Um, but because of its popularity and because of the demand in the job market, I would highly recommend you to uh, learn Python over R. But if you have already learned some R, it really helps to even learn Python. A lot of the things uh, in Python, especially the way you handle data, is very similar to that in R. Um, but if you already have some programming background, uh, you have learned C or Java, any of these uh, general purpose programming languages, I would uh, advise you to learn both Python and C++. Uh, if you are good in C++ and you want to work in some of the area, market risk area or derivative pricing area, implementing some of the trading models, uh, you'll be making more money actually because there's just too many Python programmers nowadays. Uh, a lot of people know Python. So then you, your demand in the job market will then uh, may not be uh, as good as someone who knows both Python and C++, okay, or, or even Java. So just learn more than one language, I would say. Uh, either Python with C Sharp or Python with C++ uh, or Python with SaaS or R if you want to work in the, in, in the banking and insurance sector for the big banks. Uh, you may also need to learn some uh, uh, sorry SaaS or MATLAB programming. SAS, importantly, MATLAB is no longer used in most places, but there's still some places where you need to use SAS. So if you can catch hold of some SAS programming, um, that's also not bad, right? Uh, SQL is one other language which is also used everywhere. So I, I don't want to talk about SQL. I think you know already that any data analysis that you do anywhere in the world, you, you use um, SQL. It goes without saying, so I'm not going to spend any time about uh, whether you should learn SQL or not. I think I assume that you know about that. 